The lake is a wonderful place, but I would not swim in the middle of that lake. Residents like Robin Engel have heeded the warnings over the years to not swim at the lake at Mine Hill Beach. The signs are also hard to miss, but they're warnings that officials say were disregarded on Tuesday when a 17-year-old boy and 22-year-old man drowned at the site. According to authorities, a 911 call was made just before 5.30 p.m. when the two individuals vanished from the surface. I heard so many policemen, fire trucks, rescue boats just passing by. Diving crews responding to the scene would recover both bodies hours later. The Morris County Prosecutor's Office, which is now handling the case, said tangled vegetation in the water hindered rescue efforts. People who think that, oh, that won't happen to me, and then it happens. Because you don't know what's under the water. According to some residents, this water is a popular option for locals, especially young people, to cool down in the summer months. If people don't have pools, they want to cool off somehow, so they come here, they find different ways to get in. We have no services for our youth. There's no little league, there's no football, there's no hockey. The beach itself, residents say, hasn't been maintained for years. Portions of it barricaded, and lifeguards haven't worked the water since 2019. Tuesday's tragedy at Sunset Lake follows a series of drownings across the state where as many as 10 people have drowned in the month of June in New Jersey. It's all reigniting a push to get legislation passed that would make swimming part of the state's curriculum. If you indoctrinate them from a young age, they they grow up with it and it starts to really have an impact. Assemblyman Sean Keene reintroduced his water safety education bill this week, citing staggering data that shows drowning is the leading cause of accidental death in children in the United States. And it's becoming a tragedy all too familiar in New Jersey. It would require that New Jersey schools include in their curriculum, grammar schools through high school, water safety training. And that could be in the pool training or it could just be a, um, something that they're taught verbally.